Hello folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel, and it's the episode of Final Fantasy VII that many of you have been waiting for. I'm going to be showing you today how you can learn the beta enemy skill from the Midgar Zolem, a very, very powerful enemy skill that you're going to want in your arsenal as early as possible in order to decimate everything in your path for the foreseeable future. So stick around and I'll show you how to get it with pretty much no trouble at all. Okay then folks, so in order to learn the beta enemy skill from the Midgar Zolem, you'll need to make your way over to this area just west of the Chocobo Ranch and just southeast of Calm. Now I haven't actually done the Calm section of the game yet myself, uh, you can actually get beta pretty much as soon as you get out of Midgar and then go back for all the story stuff, that's the way I like to do it. And there's the snake just floating around there or swimming around in the marsh, uh, we'll engage that in a few moments. First of all let's sort out our team and even though I'm fairly high level, Done a, you know, a fair few battles in Midgar, you can actually do this from about level 10. You don't need to be level 17 or 18 as I am. Even if you're a few levels below what I am, don't worry, just follow my strategy and it shouldn't be a big problem for you whatsoever. Right then, so first of all, let's just sort out materials. Now, I'm going to recommend that Cloud is going to be your party member that actually learns the enemy skill. He tends to have higher stats and the one stat that's really important at this particular stage is the spirit stat. Now, Cloud, as you can see, has a high spirit stat for me, but you can actually boost that further if you have the talisman, and you will have the talisman, in fact, because that comes from the sample boss where we rescue Red 13 earlier on. Um, I don't actually have this equipped for the fight, so Beta ends up doing a little bit more damage to me than it needs to, but it doesn't matter because I've got quite a bit of health. But go ahead and equip the talisman onto your enemy skill player, in my case, Cloud, that's what I recommend. And then, of course, material-wise, they are going to need the enemy skill, um, you cannot learn enemy skills without that being equipped. And then as far as other materia goes, all you're going to really be interested in, the most important, is sticking fire elemental into the armour. Okay, it's going to be in linked materia as well. And the reason for that is with fire linked with elemental, you're going to be taking half the amount of fire damage you otherwise would be taking. And since beta is a powerful fire-based attack that we need to survive, this is pretty much essential. Uh, the only other thing I recommend giving to your enemy skill party member is restore. You can also chuck an all on there as well, though that's not all that important. Uh, and that's about it. You don't need to worry about equipping the other party members with materia. Now, in terms of items, the items I am going to strongly recommend that you use are Deadly Waste. I have 10 of those. Tranquilizer. And the other one is Gravity Ball. So, I'm just going to sort a couple of these out to make sure that they're easily accessible in battle. Uh, let's make sure that they're very close to the top here. And Gravity Ball as well. Tranquilizers don't really matter because we'll be using those before battle, in fact. Uh, there we go. I'll even stick. Uh, oh, come on. Want them as close to the top as possible so we haven't got to go down the list too much. Uh, high potions can be useful as well, but I won't use any of those. I won't need them. Uh, the only other thing we need to do then to get ready, or two other things, is first of all stick Tranquilizer onto each of our party members. That will reduce their rate of earning limit breaks. Uh, it reduces the rate at which the gauge fills up. But you also take 30% less physical and magical damage with Sadness Enabled, uh, which is going to help out big time. So it's kind of a necessity, really. And finally, stick everybody into the back row so that they take less physical damage. And looks like we're all ready, so I recommend just throwing on a tent to heal up before we get started. And of course, saving your game. That is very, very important indeed, just in case the worst comes to the worst and you happen to uh, die and need to start again. Right, let's get on with the fight then, shall we? Uh, to begin the battle, we just need to run into the marsh. Ah, I need to interrupt the video. One thing I forgot to mention, but it's very important. Make sure one of your other party members, not the enemy skill party member, has the sense material equipped. I've given it to Barrett. Sorry about that. End of interruption. With the character set up, as I've informed you, then make sure you just step into the marsh and the Midgar Zolan will come and attack. Now, we need to understand his pattern of attack um, because it works a little bit differently than most people expect. The beta enemy skill that we need to learn is actually a counter attack, one that he won't cast until he's at lower health. And he won't cast it either until he's ejected one of the, at least one of the party members out of battle. Now, obviously, we do not want him to eject Cloud because then Cloud cannot learn the enemy skill. But fortunately, he will only eject a party member that physically attacks him. So Cloud isn't going to do that. 
Right, what we're going to do to start with them is having Red 13 and Barrett casting deadly waste items until it inflicts poison. You can actually also use the poison materia, but deadly waste has a higher success chance because it's casting bio 2 apart from bio 1. Now, once you've got Deadly Waste active or bioactive, you can start by sensing him. This will just give you an idea as to how much of his massive 4,000 health points you've started to whittle down. Bear in mind, he won't cast Beta until the end of the fight. And then you can also start inflicting gravity against him by throwing Gravity Balls. So I showed you previously how to attain Gravity Balls and Deadly Waste. If you didn't steal Gravity Balls, it's not a huge deal. Just keep defending and curing while the bio does its magic and starts working down the health of the enemy. It will take a little bit longer, um, but you can stay alive, no problem. Now, because we've got Tranquilizer active and everybody in the back row, his main physical attack is not going to do all that much damage. So just stay on top of everybody's health totals, especially Clouds or whoever who ha has your enemy skill, so that when he does cast Beta, they're not going to get one shot by it. Now, you can see he ejected Red 13 in this battle. That's because uh, Red 13 was the one that physically attacked him and then he countered with that eject sequence. Now he's countering because he's ejected Red 13 with Beta. And because Cloud has a lot of health, it's not going to kill him, especially coupled with that fire elemental material in the armor slot, which halves all fire damage. It did kill Barrett, but that's not a big deal. Now at this stage, you can continue to just heal Cloud, and eventually the Midgar Zolan will die due to Bio. But I got a cheeky limit break in here as well, just to whittle him down a little faster. And seeing as how that didn't die, I thought we'd give this fella a taste of his own medicine. Why not throw a beta back at him? At least we get to see it in action then, since we've just worked at getting it. Why not? So just to clarify, to make sure that Cloud doesn't get ejected from the fight, ensure he never physically attacks the enemy, or just does any attack whatsoever. The only thing Cloud should be doing is defending and healing. That's it. I just cast uh, Limit Breaks and uh, Beta then at the end because it was going to kill him anyway. But that's pretty much all there is to it. So now that we've gone ahead and finished the battle, Cloud has survived, we've learned the awesome beta enemy skill. All we need to do is bring out other party members back to life. And I tell you, you are going to love this. You just saw us do like over a thousand points of damage to the Midgar Zolan with that beta skill. And don't forget, it's an AoE skill as well. So once we have a group of enemies to fight, we're just pretty much going to be one-shotting them all. The only downside to beta is it does require 35 mana to cast. But... Hey, it's a small downside. Probably only going to need to cast it once per battle in most cases. Anyway, folks, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. So I hope it's helped you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know in the comment section if you learn beta. And I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Have a great day. Sounds like you're having fun.